How to transport cats by plane. Air travel is not recommended for pets, unless it is absolutely necessary. In fact, air travel can be hazardous for animals with pushed in faces, such as bulldogs, pugs and Persian cats as they may have breathing issues when flying due to their limited airways and stress. But if you are moving to a new country and need to take your cat with you, you may have no choice but to transport him on a plane. There are many horror stories associated with transporting cats on an airplane, but with the right preparation, your feline friend can arrive to his new home safe and sound. Method 1. Transporting your cat in the cabin. 1. Talk to the airline about transporting your cat in the cabin. Contact the airline you are planning to fly with to check if you can transport your cat in the airport cabin and carrier under the seat in front of you. Avoid transporting your cat in the cargo or luggage hold if possible. Most airlines will allow you to take your cat on the plane in the cabin area for a small fee. Try to call the airline well in advance of your flight, as there is a limited number of animals allowed in the cabin during a flight. 2. Book your flight early. Some airlines restrict how many pets can travel in the cabin on a particular flight. Booking your flight early will ensure there is a spot for your cat. When choosing your seat, keep in mind you will not be able to sit in an exit row or against the bulkhead, as there must be a seat in front of you for the carrier. 3. Request the precise dimensions under the airline seat. The airline should be able to provide you with the exact dimensions of the space under the airline seat. This will dictate the size of your transport carrier for your cat. 4. Check which types of carriers are allowed in the cabin. Most airlines will accept either hard-sided carriers or soft-sided carriers. Soft-sided travel carriers are easier to slide under the airline seat space. But only certain brands of soft-sided carriers are allowed by certain airlines. So check which types and brands are permitted in the cabin before you buy a carrier. A month before your trip, feed your cat in the carrier so he associates it with a positive activity. Play with your cat in the carrier and allow him to lounge or rest in the carrier. This will make it seem as welcoming as possible. 5. Have your cat practice entering and exiting the carrier. This will help him get more comfortable with the carrier and ensure it becomes part of his routine. Practicing getting in and out of the carrier will be good preparation for the security checks, when your cat will need to get in and out of the carrier on command. 6. Schedule a vet appointment close to the date of travel. You will need to ask your vet for vaccination records for your cat and a health certificate for travel. These documents are required by the airline to allow your cat to fly. Your vet should give you a health certificate that confirms your cat is in good health and free of parasites. All your cat's vaccinations should also be up to date, including his rabies vaccination. Your vet may also suggest implanting a microchip into your cat that will make it easier to locate him if he goes missing during travel. It acts as your pet's ID for life. Microchipping your pet is a simple procedure, where your vet injects a microchip the size of a grain of rice, 12 millimeters, under the surface of your pet's skin, between his shoulder blades. It does not hurt your pet and no anesthetic is required. 7. Don't give your cat food on the day of travel. Traveling with a cat that has an empty stomach will limit the risk of nausea and vomiting. You can carry some of your cat's food with you, in case he gets incredibly hungry on the flight. Don't forget to also carry any medication your cat might be on in a clear plastic bag. 8. Line the carrier with absorbent potty pads. This will soak up any accidents by your cat during travel. Keep extra pads. A few Ziploc bags, paper towels, and latex gloves for any necessary cleanup and containment of an accident. 9. Put a luggage tag on your cat's carrier. This will help to identify him in case the carrier gets lost in transit or in the airport. Put your name, permanent address, telephone number, and final destination on the tag. 10. Bring a cat harness for airport security. 
your cat's travel carrier must go through the luggage x-ray screening device at the airport, but your cat cannot. So you will need to attach a harness to your cat with a leash to prevent him from escaping. You should then carry your cat in your arms through the human screening device. Before you take your cat out of the carrier, prepare yourself and your belongings for screening. Remove your shoes, toiletries, and electronics and place them in bins to go through the x-ray machine. Remove your cat from the carrier, keeping him in the harness, and send the carrier through the machine. Carry the cat as you go through the human screening device. Then, find the carrier and safely place your cat inside before gathering your belongings. 11. Give your cat a sedative if your vet prescribed one. Most cats can travel well without any medication. But some cats can experience tremendous stress during air travel. Talk to your vet if you are concerned about your cat's anxiety levels when flying. Your vet might prescribe buprenorphine, gabapentin, or alprazolam for your cat. Be sure to give your cat a dose at home before the flight as a dry run to make sure your cat does not react negatively to the medication. 12. Use a swaddle or pheromone wipes to lower your cat's anxiety. If you want to avoid medicating your cat, you can try a thundershirt, which swaddles your cat, much like swaddling an infant, to reduce anxiety. You can also use pheromone wipes or spray on the carrier before the flight to lower his anxiety levels. There are also pheromone calming collars available that you can buy to calm down your cat for the flight.